What's going on guys, this is Moss King here. We got another review for you. Not just juice this time, we got Expire Spider 200 watt kit. So we got a battery case here, full charge batteries, and plus we got the vapor lock. Now what comes in this kit is a, a tank and a mod of course, and replacement coil. So you can come down here and check this out. We got the mod itself, set this to the side, and we got the tank. The tank is what's special about it. Looks pretty damn dope, and it's a four four mil tank capacity to top fill, 25 to 58 millimeter. All right, let's see if I can take this bad boy apart. I have no clue. Looks like it's like that, and you can see there's eight coils up in that thing. I don't know how coils it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this tank apart because I have no clue what's the wattage on the tank. So bear with me, not breaking stuff here, guys. Okay, we're, we're getting somewhere, but we're not getting nowhere. Break your stuff here. Set it down like that for right now, before they can watch you break it. Yeah, just watch me definitely break this tank. It looks like it's spinning. So you have to hold the, um, this adjustable airflow to able to take it off tank like that glass off glass comes off pretty good pretty stable this is aluminum and there's coil itself you now the coil is saying 100 to 120 same thing as the cleat of 120 okay. but probably with a better um tank with the coil on it let's go ahead and juice this puppy up and i'm running a vapor lock menthol three milligrams 60 mils so we're going to go ahead um Soak this bad boy up with a lot of juice here on the sides, on the sides, on the sides, on the sides, on the sides. There's a lot of sides to fill this bad boy up. Alright, let's go ahead and put this thing back together. Looks like, nope, glass first. Everybody knows glass first. Okay. And it seems like a pretty clean tank. I definitely like how shape it is. That's why I got it. Put that uh, airflow adjusting back thing on. See if I can put it back on without tearing shit up. You know what I mean, Maverick? Some kind of trick here. Okay, I got it. There's a trick to it. Alright. On the air, the top um, fill line, it's right there at the very top. And it's a screw on, like the 120. Go ahead and fill this thing up to the brim. It is a four mil. Okay, she is full. And put this cap back on. Now she does have a nice little, a lot of freaking airflow. I mean, not a little, but that's that's straight to the coils. Wipe that thing down. It's full a little bit. Oh yeah, this is like in hell and air. All right, that's freaking good. All right, let's put that thing back. Let's go to get the camera guy over here inside the box. So inside the box, we got a, our stuff a coil. Put the coil out. One extra coil. This coil says, okay, surprisingly, it's 60 to 75 watt. And I don't really tr trust the looks of this. So we get that shot later on. Showing the coil. Showing the coils. Here's that is. The three coil. Three coil. It's a um. 0.3 A3. Now we got this box. It is rolling away on us. We got this box in here. Actually, let's say this box is side because we got ourselves the replacement glass and the O rings. You know what's the deal. Everyone has that in the box. Alright, this box, I have no clue what the fuck's in this box, so let's open it up. It's probably the chargers for it. Yep. Probably ruined it for us, but okay. Who knows? There's tons. Of okay. Wow, we got a um, soap, a nice, nice charger. Look at that. That is nice. That's almost like the... Zippo. Yeah. Zippo had that. We got, our, we got ourselves another drip tip. So if you don't want the clear drip tip, you can have the black drip tip. That's pretty chill. Alright, let's go on to the mod. Let's open this bad boy up. This thing does feel super light without the batteries. I don't know what the UR code is for. Okay, that's the battery slave. And Expire needs to clean their shit. Uh, okay, it's kind of weird. 
All right, let's go put some batteries in this and show you what the screen looks like. We are so for some coil masters, and it does take 18650s. Slide that thing down in there. And fire it up. Oh wow, it fires this right up. The screen is definitely pretty cool. It has a ball lettering. So I'll show you the screen real quick. I guess it's going down or up. That's going up. So it's pretty fast. It goes up to 200. Probably upgraded it to 220. I'll let you know it's blurry on this. Okay, so. I'm sorry about the blurriness on the camera. Want to show the screen? Okay, yeah, three locks is um lock whatever. Five clicks unlock. Five clicks is actually off, but anyways, you know how the shit works. Different shit, but yeah. Alrighty, let's throw the tank on here. Let's see what this thing looks like. Hopefully, it looks like just like the box. Okay, this thing's still spinning on us. Thing's not tight. Now we got ourselves for um, the airflow here. It does stop, it's not pivoted all the way around. Take this to the side. Now you can do a close up on this real quick. I don't like where the tank's at, but. The fire button is like the T priv. Where's my T priv? Mr. has it. And he's doing some kind of weird thing here. He's walking around with it. Now this coil is 120 maxed out. Okay. So for the fuck sake of the video, if I click, click the turner on, she's at 200, let's not do that. Let's go back to 60. 60 for now, even though it's 100 to 100 to 120. All right. You open this up, um, actually close your airflow down. Get that um, juice flowing. Mm-hmm. All right, so open her back up. See, she is running at 0.1616. And she does have the um, battery things right there, so you can definitely see the batteries. So I'm ready to take a small little rip on this and get the juice going. You can definitely can't taste the cotton in it. <laughs> It's minty. She's really minty. Tons and tons of airflow, guys. I love it. Now, I think she's ready to crank her up just a tad bit. I don't want to force her so she'd burn on herself. So. This mod is pretty cool. It is small, you can put it in your pocket. Um, definitely not to the T-Priv. This is something I'm definitely upgrading here. The T-Priv and the small, I know it gets expired. You don't barely need to see expired um, mods. Hold on, doesn't the expired mod look a little bit like the Alien 220? It, it kind of does with the sides, but a little bit of different with the screens. Almost the same. We do got the turbo on his um, Alien 220. That is a pretty cool little tank. It takes three separate coils. Should I say it's a pain to switch the three separate coils because you have to do it a certain way. Alright, let's take another drag of this. I do like the big window to see your juice there. Big coil, big coil. I don't know how long that coil is going to last us, but let's keep on ripping her. Oh, she's freaking out on me a little bit. Okay. Alright, our camera crew is burping. Hiccuping. We need definitely a new camera crew in this um, video. And we need to eventually upgrade our camper to a fucking house. Alright, so this is at 90 watts. I still have a little bit of um, a cotton taste here. It's pretty nasty, but this vapor lock is pretty good. It's really smooth. Is that another rip? I'll set it down like this before I can fill up my G's. So I can see your mouth and stuff. Tons and tons of airflow. It definitely tons of airflow. I love it so much. Even though Mozart Prince knows the air temperature makes 
the audio on the camera really bad, but he knows it, but screw it, right? We're, I am legitly sweating here. I'm almost wearing all black. At least it's, uh, our air is doing a little bit better. Definitely a flavor tank. This tank is rock on, guys. I'd definitely go pick up the kit or so. This is not the tank itself, it's the kit. It is super lightweight, and I think it's even lighter than the LN220, definitely. I should let this coil sit for a bit, but, you know, for this video. Alright, let's turn up 200 is the maximum we go on this thing until I burn the coil out because it's not juiced and right. I don't know if you can see me in this video or not, but... Yeah, you can. Shit, there's no water in here, is there? Alright, I'm gonna turn it back down to 70. I'm gonna let uh, my star Prince try it. Let's see what you guys think of this. Uh, hold on. Alright, he's drinking a little beer here, guys, so... Alright. Well, that's our Prince with no shirt on. You know how our camera crew is. Look at those fat nips. Look at those. She watch him sleep. She hugs. Okay, he's about to try. What do you think of it? It feels, um... My Alien 220 grips my hand, but this one's like a... It feels like a... Um, a dodo? No, um... It basically feels like a phone when you're holding it. It's that kind of light for me. Because me, him, and Mod Star Elder, we have these big, thick uh, tank vapes that are heavy. And so, I bet you his dad will say the exact same thing about this. This is light. What do you think about the airflow? <laughs> That's good. That's that's definitely a flavor tank. Compared to the Turbo and the Pleto, this one is the most flavor tank ever. Right when I it was inhaling, all all menthol taste. I hate the air follows things. When you do that to the airflow, you get a lot more mint, menthol taste. Definitely a um, cloud chucker and a flavor taster. It's the best of both worlds. Like the turbo, it's thought, stick and stuff, but this is more of a hitting tank than anything. See, over time, vaping has came a long ways. Like, is Cleto? There's no adjustable airflow. It's Cleto Exo. See? I can't adjust the airflow that's right here. Okay, my Turbo, they bought it, uh, wherever they bought it, it has this adjustable airflow right here, and this one down here which stops like this, it doesn't go a full turn. Alrighty. So, it's almost to the end of the video. Sorry about the quality here, guys. It's kind of crappy, I know. But, there's a new, um, Expire 200 Spider. Speeder, I meant. Got a mistake, the box is flu. But, okay, what do you guys say to the end of the video? Alright. Well, definitely go on and buy this. I definitely gonna go buy this bad boy. Peace out.